So, some time ago we saw how AI tools changed how filters and also image generations were made. We actually saw AI tools deal with voiceovers and in most cases than none, we've also seen AI tools deal with 3D and it's now coming to film. And today we're seeing something that is looking very interesting as the folks at Wonder Studio has just recently teased their new AI tool which has claims to be able to automatically animate light and compose CG characters into live action scenes. This is looking super interesting and is causing all of the necessary buzz that is required. And if this eventually makes it to final product which anyone can use, subscription or not, the era of excessive motion capture, rotoscoping, character pose matching, lighting and compositing would be close to extinct. And just as LED was alongside virtual production set of tools as slowly replacing green screen in live action shoots, this may change how VFX, which includes CG replacement of life reference characters, or maybe VFX in general, would be going forward. Although nothing much has been said about this, but judging by what is available on the website, we are all in for a ride. Currently, on the website, it's been said that this will be running on the web, which is quite interesting as this will be platform independent and anyone can work from anywhere, anywhere regardless of the platform. But what is more interesting is this, that on the website, if you scroll all the way down, this actually advertises that you no longer need to work shot by shot as all you need to do is upload your CG character model to one shot or an entire scene and the system will automatically dictate, cut and track the actor throughout the sequence. It is also quite interesting to see that we have a couple of references that we can play with. Right here, we get to see something that deals with the body motion capture, which means that you can now easily replace a full character instead of doing the whole body matching sequencing stuff that you get to spend so much time animating the character to sort of match the reference subject. Right now, this seems to be able to automatically dictate animated models. And at the same time, there's also another small reference that deals with lighting. So you probably would not need to spend so much time compositing stuff as this looks super super cool based off the references that we're having right here. Now I don't know how true all of this will be because this simply sounds too good to be true but hopefully this actually comes out and this might just change the VFX industry. Moving forward we also get to see something that deals with face so most probably facial tracking, facial motion capture will be coming to this. At the same time if we take a look at these other reference this also seems to be able to recognize individual faces and you can simply swap them out based of what is currently available. Right over here there's also a hand motion capture which is also super interesting and the advanced retargeting. If this eventually makes it out to final release this might just be the next big thing. And if you go all the way down, this is also promising to work with existing pipelines, which include Blender, Unreal Engine, and also Maya. And this just simply gets even more interesting, as if you also go all the way down here, it also says you can export individual elements. So from motion capture to character passes, alphas, you can also deal with clean plate, which means you can easily clean out the character and automatically you can generate clean plates with this. There's also the camera tracking, which means that you no longer need to spend so much time thinking about how you can deal with tracking and finding appropriate reference points for you to create the floor. Right here, you can also export and play with Blender files, like it said. There's also the final render that is also available right here. If you take a look down here, you would see we have some interesting people within the advisory board. There is also the founder. So these are some very interesting times that we are living in. Because if this eventually makes it out to public, and it's available for everyone to play with and work with, then how we get to work with VFX, animate characters, and light our 3D models will change forever. And for those who would like to take a look at this, I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can come through and check this out. Currently, this is still within its closed beta, so if you'd like to test it out, you may want to request access. Fill up the form so you can get informed once this gets public. Wonder Studio seems to be coming and this looks super nice. And if this eventually makes it out of closed alpha or closed beta, things will definitely change forever, especially for indie artists and also small VFX houses. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, links to this is gonna be in the description, so do well to check it out. And of course, if you liked this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.